Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And we are here on this eighth day of September. It is a Tuesday. I did not do a Monday reading, so if you were looking for it, I apologize. The Monday reading uh, was given up in favor of having a holiday, a long weekend. So, eh, I may or may not make that up to you guys. I don't know. Sorry. Either way. I have for you our card from the Goddess Tarot, which is a tarot deck that I've had in my collection for a really long time, and it is written and illustrated by Chris Walder, and I absolutely love this deck. It is so beautiful. It is very feminine-centric, so if you are not sure about having less than traditional cards, this may not be the deck for you, but ladies, uh, this one... This whole month is, I guess, ladies' choice, shall we say. So, without further ado, let's see what card we have for today. Oh, cool. Yes, very female-centric. There are no knights in this deck. None at all. The knights have been eliminated. And in, in exchange, we have princesses. So, the princess of each suit is really kind of what is more traditionally the knight. She is mature, she is yet not quite a queen, she has not quite found her own space, shall we say, in the court, in the hierarchy of things, but she is definitely knows who she is. So while the knights are typically more male-oriented and the same sort of energy though of, I know who I am, I've worked real hard to become who I am, but I don't know who I am in the grand scheme of things. And that's really what the princesses are too. And the princess of swords is of course representative of air and intellect and really kind of pushing boundaries a little bit. So in the more traditional deck, she would be a knight who is pretty good at just cutting to the chase and getting things done. No holds barred and not a whole lot of thinking things through. So she might barrel into trouble and not realize it until it's too late. She might say something that is not necessarily diplomatic of a princess to say and not apologize for it until it's too late, so to speak. But the good thing is that with these characters also, you get a lot of that energy of, we're just going to cut through. We're just going to do this. There's no, well, I'm not sure. There's no hemming and hawing. And then a lot of times, that's what you need. You need to be able to just go, okay, this is what we're doing. We have to get this done. We don't have time to debate about this. It just has to be. So, that is really what the Princess of Swords represents, is that energy of getting through something. You may have already had to cut through the muck and the mire of things, and you already know the pros and cons. In some degree, she's already kind of been there, done that. She's seen a little bit of how people treat other people. She's seen how people treat her. She may have seen how society at large behaves in a certain way and has already made those judgment calls. That said, typically this is a person who isn't really yet open to saying, yes, that's what I've seen in the past, but people can change. Yes, that's what I've seen society do in the past, but things are a little different now. So keep that in mind too with these cards is part of the reason they're so brash is they haven't had the experience to see both sides of an energy. So that's, that's a part of this that is more important, I guess, than their reaction to some degree is that what have you shown them? So it helps when confronting a princess or a knight of swords to kind of show them, hey, not everything is going to be like this. Yes, it's a good time to kind of push ahead and get it done and not worry about it. Yes, you didn't study for that exam quite enough, but here it is. You've got to figure it out. Pull yourself together make it happen. Or, hey, we're doing this thing and we don't have as much of a budget as we had before, or we don't have the materials that we promised, but you're going to have to figure it out and do what you can. Quick on their feet, these people are. They are definitely that. So 
this is good. This is a good card in a lot of ways. The weaker side of it is, of course, that inability to kind of take the time to process something in the pros and cons. What I really like about the imagery on this card, and I'll go back just really briefly, the the imagery on the swords is going to represent a lot of Egyptian mythology and Isis and things like that because she is the goddess that is sort of um, the archetype for this suit. Um, she's not in the suit per se, but the mythology of each of the suits is a little bit different. And swords definitely means into Egyptian led by like led by Isis. So you're going to see she's got the reeds in the marsh that she has already kind of cut down. And there again, there's good and bad to that. You've got to cut down the weeds and the reeds and things to get through and create a path so that others may follow you. But also she's cut down all these beautiful flowers without really thinking about it and not stopping to consider, well, why can't we keep some of that beauty? Why can't we keep some of that? So it's a very throw the baby out with the bathwater sort of energy. And she's got the sword down here at her side, but yet at the same time, she's sort of holding up her skirt in this rather demure, dainty, princessy sort of way. So it is that balance between being feminine and being uh, diplomatic and knowing the etiquette to be. And yet on the flip side, to be able to wield that sword and go, but I'm not going to be diplomatic today, and I'm not going to be diplomatic with you. We're cutting to the chase today. So I really do like that balance that happens. I don't, again, not knowing all of the intentions of all of these artists and the subtext and everything that they have in it, I cannot say whether or not that was Chris's intent. But I do like that it happened. I do like that there is a balance between the two. Because, yes, when you are confronted with a situation where you have to think on your feet and you don't have time to be diplomatic and you don't have time to weigh the pros and cons, sometimes you can come off as being very brash. That doesn't necessarily mean that you are brash. It just means that, <clears throat> pardon, in that situation, you are. In that situation, you behaved thusly. So I like that. I do like the balance between the two. And I do love, again, how the background on this has the more arid look to it, whereas the card itself, the imagery in the card is clearly there by the Nile. They are near the marshes and the deltas. So I love the swords in this. And while I don't really understand fully why they said, oh, Isis is totally going to be our swords and air, where you think of Egypt and you think of hot and fire and things like that. But, you know, other options for other things. So I can accept it, especially since Isis has a very wing and feather and air sort of quality to her typically. So that's kind of where I'm leaning on why they made that choice. So I also am really super excited to announce that I already have my deck picked out for next month because it may or may not be affiliated with another website. So I'm super excited about that. But I'm going to keep it a secret for now because I always like to do the big surprise at the end and or very beginning of the month and kind of show you guys the next cards. But I am really excited about it. So that that's a lot of fun for me. As always, with everything that I do here, please leave a comment below if you have any comments or questions or you just want to discuss the weirdness or the uniqueness of these cards. Also, please check out the links in the description below to check out my Discord channel, websites, all those other kind of crazy things that I do, and the playlist to go back on like what other tarot cards we've talked about and what other decks we've talked about because we've this is like our third or fourth deck. I don't know. We've done a lot of these. I didn't think I would make it this far. But anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and please stay cool. It is still really hot out there. And bye!